Well, when you and the, the guys were uh, given the assignment to hold that peninsula of Banga Island uh, from the Japanese on either side, and uh, I think you said something like 14 died and 36 were wounded or something like that. And I've forgotten the exact facts. Well, we had a few men. Everybody was wounded. I've forgotten exactly how many men we had. But it was very few. But we were trying to keep the this Japanese infantry unit going down to for, to protect the Japanese artillery. They didn't have any infantry to protect them down there at the, at the point where the, 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 the island, for projection of that island, went down to a point down there. And that's where the artillery was that could fire over the, to the airport. We had less than 50 men. I forgot exactly how many, about 48, 49 men. But that, against the Japanese regiment, is fa fairly not very many men. Yeah. Our job was to stop them. We held that position. We stopped him. But in stopping him, every man I had, counting me, was wounded. When the pressure was off, we needed to do something. So, we stood up, walked over to where we walked down into the swamp, avoiding the deep water. In the swamp, we got up the water as deep as knee deep knee-deep, walking through that. About halfway to where we were going, to our surprise, the Japanese unit was, was planning to attack the American infantry up there where we had come from. They'd come in and they, they dug in the, the face the other way, not, not where we were. But we came in behind him. Now, every man we had was wounded, but every man was armed. <laughs> we came walking out of that swamp, walked right into the place, and their rifles were stacked. They were having lunch. Rifles were stacked. They didn't have them in hand. We walked right into their place. Needless to say, they scrambled for their guns, but they didn't, many of them didn't live long enough to get there. We, we shot an awful lot of Japanese soldiers walking through there. Gosh, to my surprise, I should not have been surprised. Every man we had 
came through. We, we didn't lose a man. Well, they were eating, they were eating. Yeah. <laughs> they went in and had their rifles, which amazed me. Yet that wasn't typical of the Japanese. Usually they had their rifles right in hand. Mm -hmm. But they were so confident, apparently, they, they had they underestimated, they did not estimate properly what, what they were going to be facing. But we blundered through that thing. And as I remember, we didn't even stop walking, we just kept going. We walked through that Japanese area, including where the guys were having lunch. We left several dead men, quite a few dead men there with their lunch. We surprised them. They surprised us too. But we got back to our own troops. All of us went to different hospitals. I said, different hospitals. I don't know where they all went. I went to, first to a small hospital. I was thrown there from that airport. Japanese were trying to, to, to keep us from using and uh, I was there about three or four, maybe five days. And then I was flown to the big airport, the only one that was French owned and operated, but it was an American hospital, a big hospital. The Lieutenant Colonel Army Surgeon Doctor was telling me, you must be mistaken. It's amazing that you can live through one grenade going off in a hole with you. But you said that four grenades went off in that hole that you were in. You couldn't live through it. It just had to be one, and you just don't remember because of the explosion. And while he was, that word was still coming out. One of my scouts who had flown directly to the big hospital had been flown directly to, came charging in. Now, that scout didn't pay any attention to that doctor. He rushed in and said, Tommy, I thought you were dead. That I didn't think anybody could live through four grenades going up in the hole. <laughs> He was very brief and he left. The doctor said, well, there must have been four grenades, but I didn't think anybody could live through four grenades going on. Oh, Japanese offensive grenades, mm -hmm. explosion, explosive powder, or about twice of what our oh, grenades were. Wow. It was a bigger grenade. And they threw them, but the, they were fuse was so short they could throw them and they could charge right behind. Right. And, and, that, and they didn't charge too fast when they threw their grenade because they didn't want to get caught in that. The, 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 the metal around them was old cast iron and the explosion was so great that the fragments were, right. were small. 
that came out from the explosion, basically smoke. Anyway, you can live through anything you decide you're going to live through. Did you get a lot of fragments in you? When uh, I didn't have any big wounds, I had all kinds of little wounds. Mm -hmm. I had more, more fragments than you can imagine. It took four major surgeries wow. to get those fragments out of it. The fragments tended together. And when we get clusters of them, the doctors would go in and, and remove the clusters. 